and welcome to Badminton Unlimited. This week, we're in Singapore with men's singles ace Lo Kian Yu taking centre stage for a day in the Lion City. Hello everyone, I'm Lo Kian Yu. Welcome to my day. But first, let's train. Usually, I train full day. So like every day, I train double session, except for Wednesday and Saturday. Yeah, so almost, so most of the time, I'm actually training. My motivation is, I think, to win, to improve, to be better, to be the world best. So yeah, I think that itself is a very big motivation every day. don't really like training. <laughs> uh, I think like it's the same as my motivation because I in order to improve I got no choice. I need to go through this. I need to like whatever I'm doing. So if there's a program that I'm not happy, like I don't enjoy doing it, I need to find something to enjoy it. Lah. Yeah. To make myself train better, be it emotion, mentally, physically, everything. Today program, today program is full game, huh? full game. So it's what we want to share is from the importance from the start. You all must focus on the focus and the intensity once in the court. Okay. Secondly, tactic and strategy. How you all gonna handle situation? In the national team, I think I'm a senior to them, but most of the time I'm competing overseas, so I'm not really at the training ground. But when I come back, I used to talk to them more. But nowadays, because of the travelling, so I got a little distant with the juniors. But for, with the ones that I train with, it's still quite close. Uh, quite close. Like we'll hang out. We'll still hang out for lunch. Sometimes even go out. Yeah, especially before COVID happens. Saya kira dia banyak banyak improve lah, banyak kemajuan, banyak peningkatan, terutama kemampuan dari ya semua lah teknik, fizik maupun dia mental dan saya rasa sangat sangat bagus perkembangannya. Ya saya harap dia bisa untuk naik, bisa untuk levelnya lebih tinggi, sekurang kurang dari top eight. So I've been coaching Ken Yu for maybe eight to ten years since sports school days. Then to the youth team, to national team. So we went through a lot together since he young, maybe when he's fourteen. And when I'm a young coach, maybe when I'm twenty one, twenty two. What is that starting your way? Okay, you can tell me, but I'm clear, man. But I'm still prepared to prepare for the next level. 我准备前面 four corner 多一点吗？啊，我需要你。啊，我需要你。这个罗宾啊，还是罗宾啊？就罗宾，让他这边被动啊，被动，因为从这边可以抓他嘛，可以主动的抓他，你明白吗 ？My relationship with the coaches is also quite good. Like, I mean, I talk to them. Like with Coach Moyo, I speak to him in Bahasa, and we interacted more because there's lesser communication barrier than with Coach Kelvin. I've been with him for. What, eight nine years, so yeah, we have already a bond, so we, we are quite close. And with Coach Lim, he was my Penang coach last time, so yeah, I speak to him in Hokkien. So <laughs> speaking Hokkien with another person has really the bond, you know. <laughs> so we train every day together, eat together, sometimes go home together because he stay near me. I'll drive him home sometimes, so yeah, quite close because some more. We from the same school. He's my senior. Been a lot of years, us, and both from Malaysia. So now both citizens, yeah, quite close, lah. I play him almost every day. 
Yeah, cause now there's not many people in the team. Yeah, some is in NS, some still <coughs> younger. Yeah, so yeah, he's the closest lah for now. Yeah, and one day he's gonna beat me, so I need to further the gap as much as possible so that I don't let him win me. <laughs> <laughs> Usually when I say we play game, so every time when I play game, I try to like every time in the match, I try to use what I train during like Monday, Tuesday, and then follow up on Wednesday. I try to do like what I needed to do. I train, I apply on it, I apply on the game, and then if there's any error, I can fix it on Thursday, and then Friday I try again. Just done with training. I'm gonna go wash up and then I'm gonna head to lunch. After that, I'll bring you guys to a special place. So, see you guys later. Welcome back, guys. I just finished my lunch and I'm still hungry for some dessert. So, now I'm gonna bring you to one of my favorite dessert places. Let's go. Come, follow me. Here we are at Dopa Dopa Creamery and it has the best ice cream in town. Hey Leonard, how are you doing? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. I've come here so many times already, right? Actually, I don't know what Dopa Dopa means. Oh, so uh, Dopa Dopa comes from the word dopamine. Uh, we are trying to emanate good vibes and uh, happiness through our in-house ice cream and coffee. Hey, sounds good. How about you serve me some score of happiness? Alright, sure thing. I specifically went to Dopa Dopa because firstly it's through a friend and secondly it's because I love croissant and then I saw that they have croissant with ice cream so that actually caught my interest and yeah I wanted to try that yeah There you go Hey thank you uh, Can you give me a latte as well? Okay thank you, thank you. Usually, I'm quite lazy to go out, so even if I go out, I try to go to somewhere that's relaxing, not too exhausting. Yeah. So yeah, this place is kind of very chill, very cozy, good place. Yeah. So here we are in for another treat today. Vince from RDB Cookies is going to teach me how to bake cookies. So Vince, what are we going to do today? Um, so we're going to bake two types of cookies today. One is the coffee cookies and one is the dark chocolate cookies. Okay. So can you, are you ready? Am I ready? I don't think so because I think Why? you need to put on your apron. Oh, okay. First. So after putting on your apron, we need to wash your hand. Okay. Yep. Okay, let's go. We go wash hand. Okay. So now you need to pour the... Um, Flour mixed with uh, 125 grams of the salted butter. 100, 25. 125 yeah. Grams. So I just cut here and add into the flour. Wow. And then use your bare hand to mix with the flour. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. So just this one the butter need to take out before. Correct. So normally I will uh, take out from the fridge 30 minutes before you bake. Ah, yeah. I see. I yeah. see. So okay. just need to knead the dough until you can see the. And the butter all mixed, mixed together, together nicely. Yes. Yeah, play dough, yeah, yeah. Play dough. So between your palm size, <coughs> they just roll. They can just hit to make the dough more firm. Okay. And use your palm to hold so it firm. Press, press, press it, press it, firm bit. Yeah. Then you can just make it rounder lah. I mean for the shape spice. Okay. Then you can just cut. Just cut equally. Equally, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Use your master hand. Ooh. Okay, very good, yeah. 
So it's just like uh, the feeling like a little bit. <laughs> So you can punch. Is, uh, it, is it like that? Or uh, am I doing it wrong? Uh? How come mine yes, all like very I think spread out? Uh? I think 50 more. <laughs> 50 more times <laughs> of rowing. Yeah, I think should be fine already. Yeah. Better already. Yeah. yeah, correct. I think it should be okay. Good. So I now mix. Uh, yeah, so make you can it. just take a portion. Your palm size. Oh, palm size. Yeah. Okay. You can use your palm yeah, just to roll. Okay. Yeah, very nice. You can just roll it. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, yeah. so I can start cutting yeah, it. Just cutting. Like, yeah. Okay, I like that. Yeah. Smaller, yeah. Okay, so this is my attempt on making the cookies, and that is his one. So, cool. So let's go into the oven. Okay. So be careful. It's hot. Actually, the taste is quite good. Okay. It'll be even better if I don't look at it. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's breaking a bit, so it's quite ugly, but compared to yours, yours, is, yours looks much nicer. So, But overall, the taste is quite good. So, yeah, thank you so much for teaching me how to Over. make this cookie. Hope you enjoyed the session. Yeah. Mm, thank you. I, I did, I did yeah. enjoy it a lot. It's a good experience. Uh. Now I need to head home and it's time for dinner. Time for a short break before we see how Lo attempts to cook up a storm in his kitchen. I called my mother through video call and tried to get her to teach, teach me how to cook. Welcome back. We continue our day with Singapore's Lo Kian Yu. Let's see what the 23-year-old has in store for us. Welcome to my humble crib. I share this place with four other housemates, but now, the most important place is the kitchen because I'm going to cook you some dinner, so wait on. So, welcome to Can Use Cooking Class. Today's mission is to not burn down the kitchen. Okay, just kidding. Um, okay, today I'm going to make a dish that's from my mother because I miss her home-cooked food. So, yeah, it's called Huan Zhu Cha Ba. In English, it's actually potato with minced meat. So yeah, the first dish here, we have the carrots. That's all is pre-chopped. So here we have the carrot, and then the onion. This is the minced meat and potato. Later, all of it will become one, one dish, potato minced meat. To prove that these are all cut by me, now I'm going to cut some vegetables and garlic. Okay, let's start. I stress like a lot of people are watching. <laughs> now I'm gonna bring all my stuff to the cooking place. So now I'm gonna start my potato minced meat, okay? Hopefully I don't screw it up. I called my mother through video call and tried to get her to teach, teach me how to cook, cook this. So yeah, this is uh, the first few times I'm trying. During circuit breaker, I started cooking a little bit because I was bored and I'm lazy to go out. So yeah. Some salt. Yeah, because I'm from Penang, so I may eat quite a bit of salt. Uh, yeah. I have a heavier taste. Yeah, once again, I may look like I put a lot uh, because I have heavier taste.
actually, yeah, I can still put it in. Okay, so see, that's why, that's why I say I need to stick to badminton because I forgot to put in my carrot. It was hiding behind. Okay, to make the carrot cook a little faster, I need to now simmer it like this potato. Yeah, at least I haven't burned down the kitchen. Now I'm going to wash the dishes. And this pan is heavy. Now let's do the taste test, okay? Usually, right, when they, when they cook for themselves, they actually say nice and so. This one, so. mm. Really is nice. Yeah, but no joke, they're really nice. Not bad. Uh. Haven't. At least I accomplished my mission of not burning down the kitchen, so. So now let me enjoy my dinner, okay? So how badminton started for me was when I was four years old. I played with my neighbors, my brothers, my family members. And then at the age of 10, I started official training. And then I played in, I participated. I was in the state team in Penang. At 13 years old, I came to Singapore. Yeah, and joined Singapore Sports School. The hardest was speaking English and yeah, not having any friends. Because in Malaysia, in Penang, I used to speak Chinese a lot and Hokkien. I think getting comfortable with the language is, it just comes naturally because I needed to speak English. I don't have a choice. When I was in NS, I actually became a totally different person. I was more outgoing, more, uh, what do you call that? Extrovert, extroverted. My first major games that I represented Singapore was actually held in Singapore, the SEA Games 2015. That was the first time I actually experienced what a major game feels like. And then there's home ground support and I played and performed so well that I actually got into the semi-finals for my individual event. And even in my team event, I nearly beat the top player. I just gotten my citizenship that year so I can finally represent Singapore. So, and it's held in Singapore some more. So it was, I was very excited to finally be able to play in front of home crowd. And put your hands together, our 2019 men's singles champion, Kian Yi Lo! Honestly, I didn't have any target for the Thailand Master 2019 because I saw my draw first round, I meet China in qualification some more. So, and then if I win second round, I'm meeting China again. I think the most important thing is I really didn't know that that's a Super 300. My whole thought of it is just, oh, I'm gonna play Ling Tan. Wow, <laughs> I've been dreaming of doing that and hopefully I can beat him. The important thing was I won Ling Tan. So yeah, that was all in my mind. So maybe if I knew that I won a Super 300, I could have been more happy, I don't know. But it could also affect my game, so yeah. Yeah, anyway, I won, uh, so <laughs> it was a good thing. The first person I wanted to call was definitely my mom. Yeah, because I know that she's watching and she's nervous for sure. Because since young she has been watching my game and she she's always into the game more than me and more nervous than I am. Before I tell her she was ready, you won! And then I'm like, yeah I won! Yeah, so yeah, it goes like that. Yeah, so I told her that I actually won. And she was, she told me that she was so proud of me and I told her that I was so happy that I made her proud of me. Yeah. I think there's 
not many opportunities to actually thank the people that have supported me, my parents, my friends, my loved ones, my coaches, my teammates, even the Mental Association, the sponsors like from Leaning, 100 Plus Indo Cafe, everyone, and even the past coaches, past mentors, teachers, they have helped me a lot for me to get to where I am today as a person, as an athlete, as whoever I am today. I think this is a great opportunity to thank all of them, including the fans, everyone. Yeah, because if it wasn't if it weren't for all of them, I wouldn't be who I am today. Yeah, so thank you all. From qualifier to champion, Lo recounts his moment of glory against Chinese superstar Lin Dan in a title clash at the Princess Siravanavari Thailand Masters 2019. Lin Dan is a legend. He was someone that I grew up watching, someone I aspire to become. To be able to win him, it shows that I, I'm, I need to go to another level. I'm on the way to another level and I need to maintain at that level. Oh, again, good evidence of that world class cross smash. Oh, he's missed it. Even Lindan snatches at the occasional shot. I don't know how. To me, it's still a miracle, even until today. I just we try to retrieve every shot and he started making mistakes here and there and I just got more and more confident I just I was in the zone I just played better and better without myself realizing Well he's got luck on his side as well and would you believe it He takes it. How about that? 22 minutes it took him. Seven straight points. Lin Dan will be furious about that. For the second game, I actually forgot what I did in the first game. Yeah, because I was really focused at every point. So much that I don't remember every point. So it was kind of go see how situation, go play, play by ear situation. Try to retrieve every shot and hopefully he screw up somehow. Yeah. Oh, no. He's made that as well. How did that happen? How? was a smash on the line. It was so sad that I was afraid that it got called out. So once I saw the line judge going in and then he didn't challenge, I just boom. The happiness in me, just, I don't know, the excitement, it was all over and I won Lindan. Yeah, so I was so super happy. Thank you for joining me today, guys. Hope to see you all soon. In the meantime, stay safe, take care. Bye bye. Join us again next week for a Thomas and Uber Cup special with the legends.
when you win the Thomas Cup, the people will celebrate when you like you win the Olympic. You know? In the meantime, remember to log on to bwfbadminton.com for the latest news and features on the sport. From all of us at Badminton Unlimited, have a happy new year and please stay safe.